I've woken up to the birds tweeting. We left our vents open last night, so it's quite nice we got woken up by natural light and bird song. We've got a fellow camper next door to us, so I'll keep it down. Tom's just having a little edit in bed this morning and now I'm gonna get up and get some coffee. We even had the fan on all night last night. This is the first time it's actually been warm in the van. Normally we go and put the heater on. So our new routine is that we're trying to get up at about six. Tom tries to get the video from yesterday edited and I am gonna do a little bit of stuff on the computer but also make a coffee and breakfast, most importantly. The hot weather of the last few days has brought some thunderstorms in. We've got rain and thunderstorms um, forecast all day now. And we've just taken down our aerials because they're big metal rocks, rods. <laughs> so we don't want to attract ourselves to be struck by lightning. Kind of cozy in here, it's quite, it's quite warm still. We're trying to edit a video and the rain's so loud we can't actually hear the video. We're a big metal van and amongst a thunderstorm. This is kind of scary. It's so heavy. I'm glad we took down these aerials. Oh, do you see that lightning flash? <laughs> this is actually really scary. The rain has passed. We got here pretty late last night, so we Never really got a chance to explore this park up, so we're gonna have a little walk around. This morning we're out for a forage. I've got my basket. No, I haven't foraged an iPhone or a GoPro. I'm looking for elderflowers. Trip. We really don't have much of a plan. We've got a wedding in just under six weeks in Estonia. Tom's friend from uni, Hannes, is getting married to Els. Other than that, we really don't have any other dates in the diary. We just need to get there without rushing there too much and we want to explore things on the way. We've got a few ideas of different routes to take. We haven't finalised our route yet at all. To be honest, we only really plan the next day, not the next week. Too high, too many nettles. Too far, wrong species. With Brexit only allowing us three months in the Schengen area in six month period, we've decided we're gonna go quite fast through France so that we can spend more time in countries that are a bit harder to access from the UK, which is why we're traveling a bit faster than we probably would be otherwise. <laughs> Still absolutely no luck, can't find anything. But I have found a massive tree full of mistletoe, which is pretty cool. It's so, it's so always the way, isn't it? Like yesterday we saw so many bushes full of elderflower. Today, nothing. driving I've got elderflower vision. I'm looking out for it and if I see a good bush I'm gonna to ask to pull over. Oh I just saw a really good hole. Can you pull it? That was a resounding success. I've got enough now to make the deal. You're not impressed. Uh, it's amazing. I was really, I felt really ill. I don't know if you noticed in the video, but I was feeling pretty rough and I feel completely better today. It's really weird. Like a massive turnaround. I think I just got a good night's sleep.
So the reason we're in Bayer is because there is a museum here that I want to find. I'm not, to be honest, it's not really exciting to me to go and see this. I'll just see it on Tom's video. <laughs> I'm just being honest. And it's 11 euros each and we haven't got loads of uh, money spent each day, so Tom's going to go in on his own. This is the Bayer Tapestry. It dates back almost a thousand years to shortly after the Norman invasion of England in 1066, the events of which it depicts. So Tom's in the museum, I'm going to head back to the van because it's pouring with rain and wait for him in there. So I'm at the Bayer Abbey and it is just remarkable. Such a stunning gothic looking building. Pouring with rain here though, so it's going to be a quick pit stop to see the sights while Tom's in that museum. The tapestry is almost 70 metres long. It shows scenes of everyday life, feasts, sieges, and it culminates in the Battle of Hastings. It's getting pretty heavy! <laughs> there are a few familiar sights from our travels in the tapestry. Mont Saint-Michel, Andy Non. So I got lost on the way back to the van. I went in a full circle around Bayer, but I'm back now. I was very relieved to see La Bamba. At the far end of this great tapestry can be seen King Harold with an arrow in the eye, with William, Duke of Normandy, becoming William the Conqueror and King of England. <laughs> Don't want any sluggies in our cordial. Got my bowl of elderflower heads all ready to go. Next, I've got a zest, three lemons, and an orange. I don't actually have a grater, so I'm going to be using a knife and just chopping it really, really finely. So it's going to take me quite a long time. But if you are, if you've got a grater, use a grater. Oh, mate, it's going to smell nice in here with the lemons. To make this recipe, you just need three lemons, one orange, 25 elderflower heads. They seem to be around everywhere at the moment. And a kilogram of sugar and then one and a half litres of boiling water. We'll let that one steep and we'll see it in the morning. And I'm gonna finish this one here, so we'll catch you in the morning on tomorrow's vlog. If you're new around here, we're doing a daily vlog every day at 5 p.m. UK time, so come join us. Right, I need to get dressed. You are a freaking plonker. Oh my god. Why? What on earth are you doing? <laughs>